What is up amigos? Today we have the announcement of a jackhammer and jackhammers are pretty sweet. I mean, for like 200 bucks, you can pick up a pretty cheap jackhammer, which is pretty incredible when you think about it because jackhammers produce so much noise and to be able to buy something that produces this much noise for so cheap is pretty amazing. It's a, a miracle. And I like jackhammers because they drown out of thoughts. So anytime I catch myself thinking, I just turn on my jackhammer and I'm transported into this thoughtless, drool-soaked bliss. And here we have the aerodynamics of the jackhammer. On the top left is the velocity magnitude, so the wake effectively. The top right is the total drag, the sub drag, and the bottom is the profile drag. And generally speaking, the wake follows the shape of the jackhammer quite nicely. And we can see with the total drag and the profile drag that the a lot of the total drag is made up of the profile drag. However, not all of it. Like you can see, for example, in the third plane, a lot of the highs are like about 0.8 in the profile drag coefficient. Whereas for the total drag, they're well above one. That indicates that some of the drag coming off of this jackhammer is actually from vortex drag. Now we have two Y planes, one going through the handle and one going through the middle of the jackhammer. And the this shows quite a lot about the jackhammer's wake and forces. So we can see that there's quite a big wake from the center of the jackhammer, the bottom view that we can see here, which we expect. But the top view, you can see there's a huge wake, even though there's really only the hammer there and it's offset from the center of the jackhammer anyway. So the majority of the jackhammer's geometry is well away from this plane, yet the wake from it is so big that there's still such a big plane, such a big wake here. And we can also see that the wake is at a down angle from the handle here. Through the center of the jackhammer, it's fairly straight, but regardless of that, because the wake from the top handle bit is going down, that's indicating that we are getting quite a bit of lift. And that is true, the lift coefficient of this jackhammer is a 0.32. So that's, that's quite a lot. That's like a, a NACA 0020 airfoil at an angle attack of about three degrees. So that's pretty amazing. The drag coefficient is 0 0.98, sorry, 89, 0 0.89, not 98. So that's very high, but not too bad considering that we have such a big wake, especially where we don't have even a geometry. And now we see the jackhammer in the Z planes, and it's not much of a mystery why the drag is so much. I mean, you can see on the bottom there, we really just have the tip where like the point comes out to hammer the ground, and look how much the weight just blows out. And then around the top part where like all the, the motor and all that is, that has a big wake as well, and it is a rectangular, very square and um, sharp edges. So that's gonna make the flow detach around these edges very, crisply and that's going to reduce that's going to increase the drag and these two views show one view the bottom one which is just above the jackhammer as i was mentioning earlier we have uh, planes where there are no geometries and yet there's still a big wake here the other plane is going up a little bit between the point and the motor part of the jackhammer both of these produce such a big wake that's why we get such a big drag option of 0 0.89 so that's in this video. If you liked it, make sure to like it. If you want to see more like this, subscribe. And if you want to get better at CFD like this, check out our courses in the link in the description. And if you want to make your experiments 2 to 4% more accurate, check out that Mr. Hawk. It's to ensure we make two make your experiments that much more accurate. Link in the description for that. And I'll see you next video. Peace out, amigos.